everybody. Welcome to Attack with Larry C. I'm your host, Larry Christensen. And uh, this episode is kind of a oblique tribute to the great filmmaker um, Sergio Leone. And uh, because the three examples I have today, one is the one's very good. One's a bit dubious. Maybe call it the bad. And then we have the downright ugly, plug ugly game we're going to start off with. Now, I think that's still an instructive game for all attackers. And uh, actually, in this particular case, for defenders. And uh, this, our first example here is between, from the Barcelona Masters Tournament. And you might, with this game, you might wonder about the title Masters. And um, between Hippolito Asis Garga Kali, white, and of course, out the redoubtable, brilliant attacker Alexander Moritsevich, black. And we're seeing the act. This is from a Nidorf Sicilian. We'll pick up the action after White's 16th move. One would assess the position as slightly favorable for White, mainly because he has a bit of a space advantage. He can also consider a slow but effective pawn storm on the king side with g5. H4, H5, something along those lines. I think Morrow understood that uh, with correct play, he was going to be suffering here. Now, I think he should have tried B5 to grab some space and uh, perhaps use his own queenside pawns as a battering ram. But instead, he played the ill-considered A5. And after the reply A4... His queenside play is non-existent, completely, completely frozen. And now to make matters worse, so he play, plays a positionally suspect move, and now he makes a gross tactical error in an uh, attempt to create activity. Knight b4, just simply hanging a piece. And perhaps Mr... Gargatelli here was seeing ghosts because, uh, well, he grabs the piece, and but maybe he was wondering where is that, where is that brilliant follow-up here? There is none. Basically, blocks a piece down here for virtually nothing. Morrow now tries to make uh, the best of a very bad situation. It's very too early to resign, really. And but of course here, Gargatelli now plays Bishop B5, hitting both rooks. So now it blocks not only a piece down, um, with virtually no serious attacking chances. He's also facing more material loss. Let's see what Morrow does. Now talk about bamboozling. What does he do? He backs up with Rook A5. Okay, you'd have to scratch your head about this one, too. Of course, he could lose conventionally with something along the lines of bishop takes b3 or rook a8. Those would just be conventional ways to lose. He tries, he goes down swinging, as they say, with rook a5. And perhaps this was a wise investment in, by Moro to perhaps now hear Gargatelli spend more time looking at all the forced wins. Well, he played knight takes a5, perfectly good winning move. And what does Morrow do? He's down now a rook and a piece in this position, and his rook on e8 is attacked. What does he do? Yes, of course, he plays bishop a2 check. And when I, I'll tell you, I, when I first saw this game, it was one double take after another. What in the heck is this? Takes. Okay.